Hi friends, it's me, once again, emerging from the cave. I don't really know what else to say. I had great hopes and dreams to be brave, to behave in a brand new way. I had promising paths to pave, but I caved into my fears and I stayed away. When I felt weak, fear came over to stay, telling me tales of my faults in every way. His words bathed in the water of my brain waves. Saturating stories became auto-saved, anxiety triggering a lie that was deeply engraved. You're not good enough. You're so lame. You're wasting your time. No one likes us anyways. That script would spur me to hide away in a moldy, murky getaway where my voice could slowly decay until I am old and gray. Any ounce of hope he strikes and downplays. He harps on my insecurities, blasting them on replay. No one wants to hear your silly wordplay. Why aren't you successful today? He shows me the scales where he weighs others' overnight success to my slow pace. But as I pray, I'm reminded that it's often good to delay, to stay in God's presence and wait upon the Lord and weigh the cost of following Him not just on Sundays, but every day. We are not microwaves, nuking nuggets like it's a race. We are slow cookers, marinating in grace. Jesus went from the cradle to the grave to bring redemption who was deemed depraved. While truly innocent, his rights he did wave. His death shook the ground with a trembling earthquake. His life shook off our stone-cold chains that enslaved us to our shame whenever we misbehaved. When he died on the cross and rose in three days, we heard the sound waves of saving grace, the triumph of salvation that glories the Hi there, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content, please make sure to subscribe, like, or comment. You can click the red subscribe button below. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!